Hello, it's Sarah. And I'm going to wood burn, so I figured I'd turn on the camera. I'm just doing it on the back of one of my other ones. I wanted to repeat this because I'm just too chicken to put the color on here or do anything to it until I try it first. So this one's not perfect. I definitely, I want to show you the difference, like using a different tip. So this, I love dark lines. When I, that's what I like. Um, I used, and I have my little tip style thing out because I don't know what they're called. Like I order them and I, I don't, I forget. I put them in a little box together. Anyway, this one looks like it could be J, right? Or, no, oh, I think that's the J. So what I like about it is it's a thicker wire and I won't break it because I've already broken um, I've broken two of the same one before so far and then I ended up getting this one which is basically the one I had but it's like a thicker wire again but it's not the this wire that matters it's like right here that I break it and it's just from putting too much pressure on the tip but this is the one that I like to use to make my lines because when I do, uh, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to use the back of this one, not that one, this one. Because I don't think I'm going to use this because it has this, and I'll show you some, um, like I could add color to this one probably. But anyway, so let me show you what I mean. So I'm going to turn on my Colwood Super Pro 2. I turned it on. So this tip is the one that I love to use to make the dark lines like this these dark lines can you see them they're dark they're consistent they're all the same depth and width and I just think it looks more you know whatever now that being said I have used other now this one so like okay see my flowers on this one I used this tip and so I'm going to show you. I'll use this tip. All right, let's see what I'm on. I'm on the detail. This is a number four and a half. And with a very light touch, so that's super light. I'm just using a light touch because I don't want to gouge the wood and get stuck in the wood. But if I turn it up, like this is on the detail side, and if I go to a six, it's going to get hot and sometimes the tip even turns red. I'm going to just use the same amount of pressure. You can see more smoke. And the longer I hesitate over the wood, the darker the burn gets. So it depends on how slow or fast I move. Now I could do the whole piece with that, like if I want to do a wave, say. So I'll do a wave, but what happens is, depending on the touch I I'm using, the line gets bumpy looking. See, and then I just, on that curve, and then I went up faster. See, because, see, if I slow down, I'll get all those holes. Like, I don't want to touch that. But you can make curves. I can go back over it. I just have to know how hard I'm pressing at all times. And if I go down, like now I'm going to go back down to the four and a half. Maybe I do it in a four and a half, and I probably didn't wait long enough. And then I just keep going over it a couple times to get the desired um, darkness. But I'm impatient, and I like the darkness. So it would take me triple the time to make my line as dark as that as it would if I turn it up to a 5. You know what I mean? So for this specific tip, I'm tending to keep it really light. Like I want to, I can do my little waves that I did or my swirls. You can do swirls. So I'm going to do swirls in the sky. So I'm going to flip 
I'm going to go back to my piece and you can't really see on here because I haven't done them yet. All right, you know what? Let's go. I'm going to, I'm just going to push heavy duty because that's this other one. And this is the, um, I'm going to go back down to a number four and a half. And where the heck? All right. So I'm going to burn my waves. I'm going to, I have to turn this on because I don't like when the um, smoke comes so this is going to suck the smoke, and this is for um, stained glass, like for solder smoke, but I use it for this too, and it definitely sucks the smoke away. So what I also have learned is the way I have to move my whole wrist. To get the, and this, the, the tracing line is super light. I can come up on the tip a little bit, but most of the time I can't just pull a burn in one stroke. You have to kind of keep, I have to pick up the tool and keep moving it to get, because if not, I put way too much pressure on the tip and I've broken them. So like, see this curve up here, it was just too deep for me. I'm trying to stay in the shot, sorry. So I'm turning, I am holding it like a pencil a little bit, but for the most part, you can, I can't get the same, I can't hold it like a pencil is what I'm trying to say. So I have to kind of coax, oops, and I, I have to coax it and use my whole wrist to get, but I like this, and I don't know what this is intended for. I don't know, but this is the one, the style of tip that I prefer, because I like the, the strength of the burn. So the, like, and I'm way off. So this one's not a perfect piece by any means, because I'm really just, repeating it. It's on the back of another one to because I want to try some, I'm just practicing. So I'm not really worried about how perfect I'm doing it. That's why I figured I'd film it. And I am, I'm, I move fast. In everything I do, I tend to, I'm not patient. I don't want to piddle around. I want to get it on there and be done. So for this, I'm just doing the straight lines of these hearts. Can't really tell they're hearts until I... Sorry, the pollen is definitely getting me, so I might be a little sniffy this uh, video. Up, oh, and I went down a little. I'm trying to connect these to make the little star. Um, I'm following the lines pretty true, but I will... Uh, move it if am I in the shot yet yeah. but I really do want to connect these little points to make it look like a star that was a happy accident when I took this design from the top of the surfboard and put it down here and it became a star oops that was curvy so I got my star it's wonky um, maybe I will fix it like that I don't know. I like this. Anywho, so now to do to finish my heart, I just have to take my time and kind of roll the tip. And I don't mind this overburn that I get. So if I was doing a more realistic piece, maybe that's something you don't want to have. Like if this was a face or an animal or something, an eyeball. I don't know, that overburn might make it uh, look wrong in a way, but for me, I like it. It looks more wood burning. you know what I'm saying? So, all right, now I kind of screwed this up, but I just want to, and for this one, I am going to fill in. I don't know if I'm in the shot. I'm sorry. I'm super focused. Kiwi is with me, and I know that she can inhale these the smoke, too. So that's why I'm trying to keep this away from her. She's a bird. 
and um, look, she's my bird. I do the best I can, but she's a nag. She wants to be with me. I don't even know if you can hear me because of the fan. Anywho, this is the, and so what I decided to do was turn the heat up hotter so that I could have a lighter touch and that way I don't get stuck in ridges and ruts of the oops say I'm really not on point today I can roll my hand like this to get it to be straighter and to follow the curve I always turn the piece as well, just like I do in painting, because I have a preference like to what side I like to do it. I'm right-handed, so it probably has something to do with how I, I'm looking at it from this side, you know, so I want to um, come at it a certain direction. But see, oops. I like that overburn, that little bit of uh, color coloration. It it makes it look burned to me because I paint, so I can draw a dark line. I want it to look like I burned it, you know. And see, when I start putting pressure, that's when I'm gonna mess up my tip. I don't think I'm as in the shot. And so, anywho, then curvy lines. So this little piece that I did, like a, it kind of looks like a um, a keyhole. I just want to move slow. But look how dark that burned, and I like it like that. I want it to be that dark. But see, I didn't use that when I did these flowers, and they're not nearly as dark. The same thing with this wave, these waves in here, and I wanted them to be light, so, oops. When I'm zoomed, I'm, I'm too focused to see what I'm doing, so sorry about that. And I kind of like the thick thin as well. That happens, you now. This is actually on a four and a half, and it's quite red. Hey, James. I'm making a video. You're getting going? It's my birthday. Love you, babe. So I'll see you later. I'll see you. Okay. What time are you getting home? Um, I know we're coming, so All right, honey. Love you. Ooh. But I don't mind that thick thin, but if I slow down too much, that's what happens. All right, so now I'm going to switch to, uh, let me turn that off for one second, because I'm going to show you another thing that I'm going to do on this one. But first I'm going to just go to the center right here, and I'm going to make a, a half circle, a semicircle. And that's going to be my sun. And these are just eyeball and um, so I'm going to make my sun. So I'm going to turn it back on. I'm going to use the same tip um, on the same temperature. It's still at four and a half. And this is the heavy duty side. Now there's two different. Um, what is this called? Cords, I guess, or electrical cords. This one has blue on it. I don't know if that means that I'm supposed to have this. Kiwi's going to get burnt because she's nuts. If I'm supposed to have this for the heavy duty or the not heavy duty. I have no idea. i got to read my directions. But for right now, it's on not the heavy duty. So maybe I'm wrong. But anyhow. So this is heated up. And I'm going to do these little... Um, and I didn't really need to have all the lines drawn on here, so I'm going to wing it. 
And what I do is I just start in the middle and then I just angle out. So I'm going to make, I think, three other lines coming in. And it reminds me of the um, of the porch spindles that a lot of people have in because I live in New Jersey near the shore. Near the shore, a lot of people get these on their um, deck. The spindles on their deck, they get they get them to look like a sun. So I don't know where my inspiration came. I feel like this piece specifically is kind of inspired by my brother's love of surfing, and so this sun and he used to look at sunsets like almost every night he used to drive and go look at sunsets so this is my little tribute to that and also uh see i don't have any more semicircles um it represents serenity and peace a new day new beginnings oops see i'm i'm kind of rushing but i told you i um I move fast and especially when I'm making a video I I can't fo I'm not focused as much as I would be if I wasn't making a video but I like that overburn like see how that got a little dark in there over here I like the way that looks so I mean that's why I tend to keep coming back to this tip and until I learn to um, shade the way a lot of the artists on YouTube shade, because they're doing a uh, realistic painting or realistic fire burning, what is this called? Wood burning, aerography. I am going to stick with this because this is my style right now. And. Um, the more I play and figure it out, my style will change. And I like to see my growth. Now, see these flowers? They're not as bright, but I'm gonna add color to this. They're not as bright, meaning, look how dark these lines are. But I just, I can do that faster than this. So I just wanted to whip it out faster. And I, honestly, that, is a lot of the motive when it comes to my work. I mean, I, and that being said, these are for me. They're not for sale. They're not for anyone else, but my own learning and my own, uh, you know, this is my piece. I'm gonna hang it in my house. So I don't have to, I'm not judging it as harshly as if it were for a customer or something, I think I'd be a lot harder on myself. But I like it. I am very happy with it. And um, so for this, for the time being and for right now, that's what I'm basing my work on. So I'm rushing this one as well. Because this is not my original. This, like I said, it's on the back of another piece. I really just am using it as a trial it's a it's a experiment so anywho now what else did I want to show you so the waves I was going to show you the other tip what else I've used it for and I do not know if I'm in the shot yes I came up so one of the other, one of the things that I liked about the other two mandalas that I did was that I put some darks in there. So on this one, I'm going to do both. I'm going to add color and I'm going to add the darks because I want to see first, dang it, I don't know if I should, um, because I'm really tempted on my original, the one I love, that turned out perfect compared to, you know, perfect in my world, which is never perfect, but it's definitely uh, good enough, and um, I like it, you know, like it's not, 
because literally I will scrap something if I don't like it I don't care like it's I did all that work I don't care it's for nothing it's not for nothing because I definitely learned from it and I I don't feel like I can really learn this unless I'm burning on wood like I can draw these all day but until I put the tool down on wood um, and feel it and understand what I, you know anywho this part right here that I'm doing these little sections I could darken them I'm gonna do half and half that's what I'll do I'll do half the mandala one way and half the other yes that's what I'm gonna do Oh, but I was going to show you. So this is the other tip. I'm going to switch. I'm just going to push the button and go to detail. And I have this other tip on here. Now this is quite hot. Let's see. I'm going to go. No, I'll keep it on a four. And what I want to show you is these little wind lines that, I, that I've been doing. And I'm just really going to go gently. And I'm not pushing hard. I'm going to go, let's see, I'm going to go down so you can see what I'm doing. Now this is a Zentangle kind of uh, technique thing that I've used in other, when I've done Zentangle with a pen, I would just make little swirls in the sky to represent clouds or wind or just movement. And I'm just moving a little slower. Those two are fighting over a toy. That's hysterical. I love my doggies. Anywho, so that, I don't want it to be dark. I just wanted it to, to kind of be, in a way, it's shaded. I'm shading this area with a swirl instead of a full burn. So just having these lines here fills the space in a way, uh-oh, they're fighting. Kiwi, go get your, oh, what's your name? I called her Kiwi and it's Kirby. So I kept this space and that, because those would have otherwise been blank. I didn't want to put anything in there because it, on this one, it just got too muddled. I didn't like that. I wanted to keep the surfboard as its own thing and but to do that I wanted to leave that space kind of blank but I filled it with just a shadow like a shading and then I'm bringing this up here to kind of have that tie together you know what I'm saying and I can still I'm gonna um, spray varnish this before I paint on it now and before I have to be done burning as well before I spray varnish it because once you put varnish on here you don't want to burn anymore now see that just is the wood I watched a little bit of burning with fire last night um, Valerie her name is and she messaged me or no she put a comment and I don't need to soak the wood I just need to wipe it down and, and raise the uh, bring the tooth up and then I can um, sand it back down and it'll be ready to go and again it's just because I'm too lazy but I can do that before bed and by the morning everything will be dry and ready to go and then I I can sand it and burn i um, going to order some more circles I think she said it was called basswood oh man you know what? It's right on my receipt. See, and I'm pushing kind of hard on here to get this swirl. And it's weird, like, all right, let me, I want to look at my, uh, I have the receipt for, um, anyway, these are called, doesn't say, circle wooden cutout. But I think it's basswood. I think that's what she said. Anywho, I'm going to find out and I'll let you know. All right. So, like for these flowers, I'm going to turn up the heat. This is like a five and a half with the detailer. 
So I don't know that the detailer gets as hot as the heavy duty, so I don't know. All right. But like, I'm just going to go over one of my flowers that seems a little light. And I freehanded these. I didn't even trace these on here. I just started, but I'm going to touch lightly. And if you're shaky or you stall, it'll make a hole in the wood. So that's why this one gets me a little frustrated because I don't, I want it to look even. But it's darker, like I was able to get it darker. Like the tip of this flower, oh, but see how I paused? And then it gets a little, okay. But anyway, so now, of course, anyway. So I'm gonna go off camera and um, finish burning this. And I'm gonna come back and I'm gonna show you some of the detail that I add and it's, there's two ways I can do it that I've done it. One of them, I'm gonna turn that off and I'll turn this off. On here, I did, this was done with a shader. I used this one. And this has a nice thick wire too. But I used this one and I just pulled, I think I probably went that way, and shaded it. And it's not as deep, but it still gets a nice dark, it, it, I like the way it looks. I mean, I'm not really good at it. Like it kind of looks patchy and there's darker parts than lighter parts, but I feel like I could get better at that. The other dark areas were done with this round one, or I probably could use a bead tool, but I use this. And I just make little circles on a hotter temperature. I would probably put it on the heavy duty side. And really, you, I can just touch and go down and it will um, darken the areas that I want to darken. So I'm going to show you that um, on the other side as well. Uh, I have a ball tool and it's basically just like on a stylus. It's um, I think there's three different sizes of ball tools. I've used this one and look what I do to it. See, because I press so hard. Look what I do. I bend it because the metal gets soft when it heats up and then the pressure that I put on it because this, you probably would just use the tip of it to make little fur lines or something. But I want to make these, like, you know, maybe I could have used it to make this palm frond or like I did another palm frond. Where's my other palm frond? Right here, like these, you know. Um, but the, these dots, I use my ball tool for it with um, to make that. Let's see where it is. Um, I don't see it. It's on my desk somewhere. I have to look for it. Then look, I have this tiny little... Um, like sharp little tip because I wasn't sure if I needed a big one or a little one to make but look how I bend it because I put so much pressure on it but this could be a shade or two I think I can't find my ball tool it's got to be a right oh here it is right in front of my face so this is a ball tool like my stylus it's about the same size as my stylus and that's the size of the dots that I get with it. And I mean, I, if I hold it in there longer, it'll get bigger dots. But I can also, like, some of the bigger, um, I don't have any big dots on here. Like these, let's see. These are um, not done with the stylus because the stylus is those tiny dots right there. These bigger dots, I just used the, um, this one. And you just draw a circle with it. So anyway, these are all, like, I do like this one. It's not the best design. Like, I should play, play on paper first and really get my design how I want it before I go to the wood. And then play with getting that design on the wood. But I love, that being said, I love those. Now this one, I'm going to repeat on my last blank. I'm going to do this all with my 
my favorite dark line maker and I don't know I'm gonna try and do it different I'm not gonna add color I'm gonna darken some of these areas so I might change it a little bit I don't know I love color though I do love the color that's why I want to practice maybe I'll add some color to this to see but like I don't like that how that turned out like this I burned with my shading tool the actual shading tool that I just got I just pulled that and I like that it's not as grooved as this part you see how like this one digs in and this is just on the surface I'm not zoomed in but anyway so like this one when I shade even if I'm gentle and I just make little circles it digs into the wood the shader just stays on the surface and discolors the wood like that. Kiwi, do you want to get oh all right, whatever. Um so I on this one I definitely used and then I just I think I did this whole piece only using the shader. Yes I did because this all my shading areas except for then I added them last minute and that kind of made me not even like this because this one wasn't looking too bad. This one was pretty good. I just ended up on the final one. I switched the heart. I put the heart down here and I changed the palm frond, which I do like, but I just wasn't, I don't know, maybe I'll do that again. But I didn't like that I added these little friggin' whatever they're called, like a teardrop in there. Um, all right. So I will be back when I'm done burning this and I'll show you how I'm going to add color and darks and lights all right i'll be back all right it's all burned up i just wanted to see if i can yeah i started rushing like i turned up the heat as i was finishing these little swirlies there's a spot i didn't get but anyway and i can tell like when i was doing it slowly it's much lighter and then as i got to the end it got darker because i turned it up anyway i wanted to just show you the dotting tool where is it and this is already bending too because I push so hard. I don't know. Look, man, I don't know. I'm working on it. I'm working on myself. So it's basically just a dotting tool. I'm going to finish these waves. That's the only other things. And I like to, whenever I design, I like to do a little bit on each area. So it's going out. So I have dots. I don't really have that many. There's a dot in the middle and then I dot it on each heart. And then I dotted here, and then I, I kind of got crazy. But look how red this is getting. i got to turn it down. That's a 6. I'm going to turn it to a 5, which is still probably way too hot. And Kiwi's with me, so I'm going to put my sucker on. And I'm just going to dot, just like you would with paint. And it's hot. So Because I can just touch down. It takes a lot quicker that way. And that's it. I already did all that. I'm pretty sure I'm done. Uh, now, I'm going to flip over to detail. And you know what? Maybe I'm not. I'm going to take this whole thing off of here. And I'm going to put it on here. I'm going to go to the heavy duty with this. And this is... I, I don't know what it's called. Let me just look at my little list again and see if it tells it. A name for oh it does look maybe maybe it tells a name for it aha tips tip packages let's see oh they have a lot of stuff like thermal finger guards because it does get hot my this finger right here <coughs> feels a little a little numb I think this is a J I don't know Anywho, I thought there was like official an official name for it. Oh, J. Let's see what they call it. H I J. I don't know. I can't find it. Anywho, up oh, R T J. Round tight. That's exactly right. It's tight round. Okay. All right. So this is what I wanted to show you. I can do with this. I'm going to do, so like I said, I'm going to do this half with the darken, and this half I'm not going to darken, but 
there's two things this is one of the ways that I shade so I'm gonna I want to add and I'm just gonna make little circles boom see how I shaded that and I'm gonna do it in all these areas in this little wave section hopefully I'll stay in the shot So this is on number five. I'm on the heavy duty side. And this is my tight round, right? So like, I'm gonna do this whole piece right here. I'm gonna do this little part of the sun and I'm just gonna start in the corner and just make circles. I'm not pushing really hard, it's on a five. So it's probably hot enough. And then I'm gonna fill in this whole area here and as I get impatient or if it's not dark enough I add pressure but if I just take my time and be consistent making these little circles I get a nice dark burn and, and that's what I like. I like the dark color. I find that if I go over a spot too many times, it almost picks up what I did. I can't explain it, but like I'll make a, a lighter spot. It's kind of interesting. Anywho, but see I'm moving along pretty quickly, which is what I like. I don't, I'm a fast worker. I don't want to wait around and take my time so it's a good thing for this type of stuff but if I want to build up shading then it could become a problem. I'm going to have to be patient and I will when that time comes but my natural inclination is to keep it moving and then you do get little burnt pieces of wood that fly up Anyway, so that's how, I don't even know if I was in the shot, dang it, but I can't really go back over this because it, it picks it up, okay? Now I'm going to switch to, I'm going to take this tip off, I got to go up because I know I, when I zoom in I forget. I'm going to take off my ball tip, I'm going to put that shader on here, and I'm going to show you how that looks because I like it. I like the way it looks. Okay, switch over to detail. This is on number five still. I'm going to do the same thing that I just did. I want the same charge the battery. Oh, let me just plug in my, my camera. It takes two seconds. Right here. Boom. All right. We're good. Um, so, I want this, I just want to darken those same areas, like I'm going to do this little part right here. And for this, I'm on a 5 still, but it's on the detail side, so I don't know if that's as dark or as heavy. And I'm just going to lightly touch down and pick up. Let's see if I can make little circles with this too. Yeah, so see little circles, but... And I'm right up against the other one here. See how it's not as dark? It's covering and it's still good. And this is a number five. Maybe I don't, if I don't move as fast, it'll get darker. So I'm just doing this right in the moment. Let me see what happens. I have not prepped this wood in any way. It's just the row. It's been sanded. I did sand it. Little circles. Just pulling. Ooh, I like the just pulling. Let's just pull down here. Just pulling. See? So I think that's how you would get like a graduation of color. Like how I do it with paint. With floating. But I just pulled that along and it's more of a surface burn 
than this. This tends to go deeper, I think. And like right here, I don't. I feel like I didn't get close enough to that line. And it looks like you can go back. Let's try and just go back and darken it up a little and see if I can. Or once you've gone over it, it might not behave the same way as it did the first time I go over it. So that's all part of the learning curve, right? Um, so yeah, I'm going to do some more right here. I'm just going to do... See if I can just pull it down. Look, I just pulled it down. So it took a lot faster for me. Like, I didn't have to make as many swirlies, and I just drag it like it's a thick marker. But I can see how I might go out of lines doing it that way, possibly. Um, and this, I believe, I just got this one. Uh is a thicker wire one too because I figured I'd get the thicker wire ones because now see I'm gonna do this here's the one that I did with the little circles I like it it's very dark but let's see what this one looks like so it looks like I get lines which was not my intention and I was probably pushing way too hard but it's dark I guess it's just personal preference at this at this rate because I can get like if I go up against that side and I'm like I'm nervous to put the heat up any higher because I will I push too oops see I'm I think I can tend to go out of lines with this one a little easier I want to go hotter I'm gonna go to six. Oh boy I'm nervous and I'm gonna not push as hard. Ooh, ooh, that's hotter. Cause I'm not pushing nearly as hard and it, it just made it darker. Um, I went on this side of it. Ooh, let's, let's do over here. Where am I? Hopefully I'm in the shot. I'm just gonna Maybe I'll go back to my little circles again. Ooh, see, it's so hot. Oh, man. That number six, that made it so hot. Look at that. Look how dark that burn came up when I put a little pressure. Uh-oh. This might be dangerous. Oh, boy, that is dark. This might be my new best friend. Having it like that. Hopefully I'm in the shot. Oh, I like it because it's a higher temperature but I am not pushing as hard which is going to save my save the tip because I push when I push hard I break the wire oops and I carved into it but I like that um so that's that section I may as well do this while I have it because it's where am I because it's so easy I'm going to and again depending on how I'm right-handed and like so this is working for me to be able to, to pull towards myself and I was using even pressure there but it's it didn't pick it didn't take on all the parts so there's something about the wood the wood is a natural fiber and it's so it's not going to be fully consistent every place on here so i just have to roll with it you know and that's why i say it's never going to be perfect and it's going to have a mind of its own from time to time so that's the other way and actually I'm going to go back up so I don't mess up, but I feel like this, with this tip, it's much quicker and I get a less, like, I'm going to try the other tip again. I'm going to just flip right back over to um, heavy duty. I'm going to turn it down though, because watch, this will get red. 
normally it gets red. It just starts, yeah, it's getting red right now. See, it's starting to glow. Oh boy, that scares me. I'm going back down to a five. And I don't know if it's good or not to have the tip glow or if it should never glow. Like, I could be really messing things up. But I know that if it's hot and I push too hard, I can bend it. But let's see if I just take this. I don't, I'm only going to do these three sections and then I'm going to do something different on this side. Uh, so I'm just going to try and, ooh, see, look, see, it gets, it digs in. It digs in this tip. So it gives a different type of burn, but I don't hate it. It's a number five, and if I just drag it, I can do it faster, but it, get, it gouges the wood. It's gouging it. It's just not on the top layer of the wood. Um, and like you can stipple like I'm pretty sure I put it over there, but that's how I did the background on my sugar skull um, I'm just gonna do little circles again I'm gonna turn it up a little I just turned it up. It's like it's five and three quarters And I get a lot more smoke the hotter I go to So let's see what this is gonna do I'm gonna just try. I'm just gonna try and um, pull it like I'm like I'm writing. Uh, I don't like the look of that as much as I like the the smoother. Like this is just really gougy. So I, if I'm using this one, I'm definitely gonna do. Maybe I could do this in certain areas for a different look, but I would definitely stick with the little the. Um, the circles and light pressure it doesn't it's not as gougy if I just use light pressure maybe keep it hot but don't use as much pressure I don't think gougy is a word right So this is one of the things that I wanted to decide if I wanted to add this darkness to my uh, original one. I really like it. Um, I'm just going to finish this surfboard. So there will be three surfboards done. Yeah, let me finish that. And this is, it definitely is more time consuming to do these little circles than it is to just do it with the shading tip. But it's super dark and that's what I like about it. I'm going to show you the, um, the first big mandala that I did. I use this technique. See, look. Then I just pull. Look, it fit. It fits right in the whole area. So that wasn't bad. I guess it depends. Like, if I go sideways, I can make a thinner line. But if I hold it, anyway, I just think that I get a more consistent looking burn when I make little circles. Then it all looks consistent, you know. All right, I'm gonna put that up. Zoom come up. I think I'm going to turn my burner off so we can have a look and see. So, what I want to figure out is this piece. There's a couple options that I wanted to figure out. I wanted to think about whether I wanted to add those dark areas on here or just go in with straight color. Um, meaning bright color but I could also do it tone on tone just using browns all different uh, levels of brown strengths of brown uh, and shades of brown so that's what I'm trying what I the reason for recreating the piece is to kind of know what I want to do to this one or just leave it plain I don't know um, 
I do feel like my sons look really good like this. This kind of joins to that in a way that I wasn't sure of. But you know what? I'm feeling like I like the shading tool look better than this like little circle way. I don't know if it's coming across on camera and at a distance. It's not. But the, the smooth way that the shader does it, I think that's... I'm liking that. I think I'm going to stick with that when I do um, this technique. Um, so for now, I'm going to go, I'm going to get some paint out. Let's see, did I want to darken anything else up while I have my wood burner out? And then I'm going to have to go out and spray this. I'm going to spray just a, a coat of uh, varnish to seal it so that when I paint, the paint just doesn't suck right into the raw wood, but I think I'm going to turn this on with my shader again. And I'm just going to see if I can do a technique, uh, a shading technique with it while I have you on camera. So let's, let's go. This is on, uh, that's a six on the detail side, so that should be fine. And I want to try and start, just kind of make these squares look like they're I'm going to keep them light in the middle and dark on this on the side so I'm just going to pull like this Ooh, I think it's working so just like if I were floating the darkest color would be up against the line and then I'm graduating to them and I turn it and I'm going to pull this side. Ooh, no, nah, I don't like it. See? I'm not, I'm not, either I'm not finishing, I guess I have to join them a little more. Hold on. Go a little slower, maybe. It's going to take me longer to figure this out than two weeks. Oh man. But see then I start to lose the graduation of color. Eh. See it's much darker up against the line but now I'm just... Eh. I don't like it. And then I tried to fill in, making it really light, and it just basically did the same color the whole time. So there's really a learning curve to this that I, and no one's telling me what to do, so I don't know what to do. That looks better, kind of. Like if it was on a round surface, it would kind of look, or if I did a circle, it would look round, maybe. But, I'm just gonna, let me just kind of make little circles maybe. The bigger the area, the more inconsistent the burn looks, so that's, that's the problem, I mean. I don't want it to look patchy, I just want it to look black, like dark, you know, and so maybe a shading tip isn't what I want to use, but I want it to be darker. Maybe that just means hotter. Maybe I go up in color. Dude, I don't know, it's going to scare me, but this is the detail side. So I don't think the detail side, ooh boy, when you get hotter, it makes it darker, that's for sure. That where, that really just turned it black. Did you see that? So now I'll go over this, like, kind of, I think I can get it darker. You know, this video might be frustrating because if you know how to burn, you're probably saying, stop, you're doing it wrong. Dude, I don't know what I'm doing. 
I'm just trying. All right, that looks good though. I don't hate it because it's just nice and dark. And at a distance, it looks really good. So I'm gonna put this burn the burner away, and I'm gonna get some. I'm gonna go squirt this with the uh, sealer, and I'll be back. I'll be right back. All right, I'm gonna end this video now. I'm gonna call the next one painting on a wood burn mandala or something like that because this one was all about um, wood burning so I'm gonna end this video now and I'll be back with part two of this experiment so thanks for watching